Hey guys, it's Christian from Lost in Discovery and welcome to my new series, Insert Name of Thing That I Love Sucks. Today we are going to be looking at people absolutely crapping all over things I enjoy, namely The Way of Kings by Brandon Sanderson. Now if you follow the channel you know that I am a diehard Stormlight Archive fan and you know this has been done before but I have, I just wanted to try, I just wanted to see if I could handle people absolutely destroying this book. Alright so I went on Goodreads and I just sorted it by one star reviews. If I thought it was quite a juicy review that would get a bit of a reaction out of me, I have screen capped it. We're gonna go through some of them now and just yeah let's just see why people have the incorrect opinion about this book. Okay so the first one, the very first one of this new series. I seriously cannot fathom how so many people like this book. The first 700 pages can be summed up in about seven sentences or less. What a waste of time. It finally picks up and has a little action and gets interesting right before the end. Flipping tease. Look, it is a common complaint that The Way of Kings is a massive slow burn. I get it. And yes, if you're just focused upon like big action scenes, it doesn't really kick off till the end. So look, we've all felt a little bit teased by the way of kings. Obviously this person just couldn't handle that amount of tease and they're lost, they're lost. Christopher says, I'm sorry, but yeesh, I do not like this book. This is the second time I've tried to I've tried and I'm just over it. My first issue is that it wastes no time with cruelty and death. By the first chapter, their character kills like a dozen or so men on his way to assassinate a king. Like even Game of Thrones held back in the first few chapters. I've never heard Stormlight be compared to be as, as brutal as Game of Thrones. It's uh, yeah, it's not that. Then the next chapter is a battle which is another cliche, the world is miserable and awful sequence of events. Sometimes I wonder what people uh, think they're going to read, like it's, the book is called The Way of Kings, on the, on the front cover there are people holding weapons, don't, do you, are you not ready for killing? <laughs> I feel like, I feel like it's pretty honest, <laughs> what's that gonna happen? Alright, so this, this person continues, I'm also confused by this setting, a world where giant superstorms ravage the lands, Okay, shape the ecology, yeah, makes sense. But there's still humans and horses and whatnot. Yeah, makes no sense, I'm sorry. <laughs> like maybe if humans were a div divinely created species, but horses too? No, that's just dumb. Pete, how, how, can, how can you protect horses from a storm? That is ridiculous. It's almost as if you have buildings or something. Then there are place names like the Shattered Plains and the Unclaimed Hills, like, <laughs> I'm sorry, but those just sound ridiculous. Like if you're gonna do descriptive names, maybe you could do more descriptive ones. Okay, the hell kind of a place is the shattered place. <laughs> like is the ground shattered? The sky? What? <laughs> the unclaimed hills? Why are they unclaimed? That's very rare. Oh, because the storms are so bad they can't be settled? Then call them the Storm Hills or the Scoured Hills because that's more that's a more telling name. What is what is this what is wrong with this person? <laughs> Guys, okay, heads up. If you're going to read fantasy, there are going to be names like the Unclaimed Hills. There is going to be names like the Shattered Plate. What this is my question with these reviews. What did people think they were going to read? Did they think Ah, the Grand Canyon, is that, that's not fantasy, that's describing what it is, come on people. I just lost it when characters say storm you in place of damn you, like oh my god, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna lie, when I first read The Way of Kings and I uh, read the storm you line, I thought as well, this is the worst thing I've ever read in my life, this is terrible. Luckily the word storm you kind of doesn't really happen again. It's kind of like in Game of Thrones where George R. R. Martin, um, in the first scene with Tyrion, Tyrion does like a somersault and is like, yippee, I'm a dwarf. You kind of, there's just some kind of things you just don't talk about and you just move on and Storm You is, is one of them. I'll give him that one. That one is fair enough. All right, let's get to a more serious nuanced review from a person who has been a bit more analytical and fair about The Way of Kings. An ambitious book with way too slow of a pace and overly descriptive. Any empathy and curiosity I had for the main characters died because of the pace. I read another review that described this book as a world builder. 
Well, I just couldn't come around to see this world come to fruition. George R. R. Martin didn't need a world builder for his Song of Ice and Fire series, he just dropped you into that world and made you want to stay and inhabit it for a long time. Maybe both Martin and Tolkien spoiled me. Um, I, look, they have written this in a very fair way, I suppose, but I felt like um, what he complained that Sanderson hasn't done is exactly what he did. And I also can't even make it through like half a Lord of the Rings because I just, it's like, I know it's a fantastic story and I love the films. Oh my God, why am I doing this? I'm going to get destroyed. But reading that book is a slog for me. So at least I wasn't falling asleep in Way of Kings. <laughs> Oh god, this is showing a whole other side, aren't I? I'm just, uh, my whole persona is being ruined right now. Okay. Alright, Irene, let's see what Irene has got to say for us. Listen, I tried, she says. She's already tired. She's already exhausted writing this one. Everybody loves this book, and it's definitely not for me. I read 180 pages, and I just can't bring myself to read anymore. It's a, it's a solid effort, 180 pages. It's, it's about a tenth of the book. I would strongly recommend you try further, but let's see why she couldn't make it past there. I aggressively don't care about the male characters, but my biggest <laughs> aggressive, she aggressively doesn't care. She's not indifferent. She aggressively doesn't give a sh But my biggest issue is with the portrayal of Shallan, the most annoying teenage girl ever. This is a very popular opinion, by the way, <laughs> whose main personality trait is that she blushes continuously and thinks she's a lot wittier than she really is. Yes, I can't really say anything about that. That's pretty true in the first book. Girl thinks she's habanero spicy when she's maybe stale ground pepper on a good day. <laughs> I'm still thinking about the line in which she's relieved she didn't cry and ruin her makeup, not only because it sounded completely out of place, but also because what kind of makeup is she wearing? Maybelline? If she was wearing some sort of coal eyeliner, which is what I would figure would be analog in this place, it's made with carbon and fat. So unless you physically smudge it, it's waterproof and crying won't make it bold. So what the f buddy? If you're going to say dumb something dumb, make sure it's not dumb for one, more than one reason. For a throwaway line, it bothered me to no end. And really, I did not notice by this very calmly written review. Let's keep going. Words are difficult. I can't read. See, this is why I'm taking so long with Wheel of Time. I actually cannot read words. Okay, let's keep going. Michael Targaryen. Oh, a Targaryen has shown up and is going to tell us what's what. All right. This is what gives the fantasy genre a bad name. Jesus. Okay, off we go. If there was a phrase I would use to sum up the Stormlight Archive, it would be a poor man's juvenile Game of Thrones. <laughs> I just hate this trend that every bloody fantasy is just a something Game of Thrones, or it's like Game of Thrones with this, or it's Game of Thrones with that, or it's just a worse version of Game of Thrones. I have not read a fantasy further away from Game of Thrones than the Stormlight Archive, but let's continue. I'm not going to get triggered here. Sanderson writes the worst women ever, F. Shalan. He has absolutely no edge to his writing style, read like a middle grade book. Sanderson is the fantasy equivalent of a donut making machine as opposed to a carefully cultured bakery. Has a recipe with no with absolutely no inherent talent whatsoever. Bloody hell, that was brutal. Sanderson being a donut machine was not the um, simile I was ready to read this morning, but I kind of love it. Binge Reader has given a lovely one star review. Let's check this person's out. I have very little time and focus for books, so if you introduce 15 new characters by name, three different types of people and clans, and immediately loose me by starting out in the middle of some sort of plots or storyline after only the first few pages, I'm listing this book under DNF with no hard feelings. Okay, if you're reading fantasy, um, look, if this all over the cover, epic fantasy, Sanderson does epic fantasy, it's the most epic of fantasies of epic. You you need to be ready for 15 character names and three different clans and 18,000 plot like this is this is like this is what you're signing up for. This is part of it. Fair enough, it's not for you, but like, my question is how do they get to this point where they're picking up a thousand page book, number one in a 10 book series, and like, yeah, that the character, like there's gonna be characters. It's, it's epic fantasy, there's gonna be 15 million characters. I get it though, it's not for everyone, I get it. 
<laughs> okay, this one is brilliant. This is one of my favorite ones. The Way of Kings promises the old pull the cloth off the table trick and then spends hundreds of pages meticulously arranging the silverware and telling you the significance of a salad fork versus a dessert fork until you close the book and say, you know what? I don't even want to see you put the, pull the cloth, it's that bad. I'm gonna go read some technical manuals. That, yeah, that's, come on, that is brilliant. Yes, the, the pieces of The Way of Kings are set up very meticulously, and it, it does improve on a reread, but, like, I hate when people say, oh, you've just got to reread it, and you're gonna love it. No, like, I get the complaint that it's a very slow build-up. It is definitely what makes the first book the biggest struggle out of the whole series. It is a slow build, but it has so much work with the characters that get you so invested to set you up for this giant story. Bloody hell, that was good. And I think I'll um, end with one last one star review. This was very concise, very to the point, and I respect the way that ha they have um, shown their opinion in a way that is readable by the masses and that if you are unsure about the series, a one star review like this can really kind of m make you not feel so bad about not being into it. And this is how you should write it. Um, this person says, uh, so yes, there you go. That is my first why this series or book sucks video. If you enjoyed this, please let me know because I love making fun videos like this as well. Of course, I love my big lore and exploration videos with all the editing and the art and all of that put into it. But sometimes I just want to hang out and have a laugh with you guys. So if you enjoy this, I would love to see why people hate other things that I love and you can join in with me and feel the pain and cry and laugh with me. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.